What's up, Ramsey Nation? Welcome back to another Ramsey reaction video, this time titled Gordon's Clear Disappointment at the Food is Cause for Concern for the Kitchen Staff. Now, before we get into this reaction video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that dislike button if you like Paula Dean better, which you're just wrong. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you get notified every time a video goes live and leave a comment down below on what you think Gordon is disappointed about. All right, and with that, let's get started. Uh, this is the British version again. I thought what would be a nice thing to do, um, just for today, was to go upstairs and have a quick bite to eat. For yourself. To yeah, just up. in your hands. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna cook for me. You I like how he's like surprised. Like the chef is like, I, I have to cook. I have to cook. Choose your favorites, your specialities. Yeah, I want three. So Gordon is setting this guy up. Gordon is setting this guy up for success, and we all know that he's just gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna fail. He's gonna tank. He's gonna tank. But let's see if we can get a look at this kitchen. I know it's a little blurry here. It seems like a decent sized kitchen. It's, it's got some some good staff here some some stuff let's be on the lookout for microwaves he's not having those he's having four fresh ones so obviously so the, some i don't know what these are but uh they were pre-made and so he would serve that normally um but it looks like since gordon's was like hey i'm gonna you know i'm gonna see what your best is he's like oh well okay well uh, let me make some fresh stuff it, it would have been okay for the customer but you know, for you, you know, so at least he's attempting to, I don't know, be better. Of which he's going to eat two. Richard's proud of his duck cake. I don't even know. Okay, this looks like, this like a, looks like a bushel of grapes, some, uh, some scrambled eggs, some fluffy meatballs. Like, I don't even know what this, like, I don't even know, I don't know what this meal is, but it doesn't look good. Proud of his duck cakes with chili jam. Duck, so it's duck cakes. Like, it doesn't mean with jam. Like that. Does, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense to me. Exotic, you know, pretentious crap. They are my Scotch eggs. Big <laughs> camel balls. Yeah, they do. They look so bad. They they do look like camel balls. Yeah, look at this. Ugh, this just doesn't look good. Like, why? And someone's been very lazy in the kitchen because they've got the. Bloody bone. Mm. Mm. Same. Oh, uh, that finding bones and stuff, that makes me mad. I know that makes Gordon mad. Um, because it, it, it can be a danger. It can be a hazard. It's very hazardous. It's not good. Later. <laughs> Another of his favorite combos, braised lamb shank with parsnip crisps. Okay, so this, again, braised lamb shouldn't be that hard. But he, look, I can already tell there's too much liquid in this dish it's going to be soggy it's going to be nasty clumsy clumsy cooking and lazy elements. yeah look at that that's not even a good cut on these stink but it has been changed about three or four weeks oh yeah and then you using bad oil come on the whole meal would set you back nearly like you should change the it doesn't take that long to change the oil you just turn you drain it it's 30 quid way too much hey guys the food was this 30 30 dollars god and look at these these guys they're like oh what do you mean it's bad and look they get this nice mix i mean they got they spent money in this kitchen sadly i did choke obviously salt and all but that was um stuck at the back of my throat but however you know i'm glad it was me not a paying customer a restaurant owner's yeah, I mean, like, a paying customer would have bitch. I mean, I would, I totally complain. Like, it, that's ridiculous. Best investment will always be in the. Why shirt. is he okay? Why is he taking his shirt off? What is he doing? He's reviewing this restaurant, and now he's taking his shirt off all of a sudden, talking about this restaurant. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> uh. And if you haven't got that sort of major asset downstairs in the kitchen, then forget it. The guy's got to be a motivator. He's got to be a leader. He's got to make you money. He's got to bring customers back. And clearly, 
from what I've seen so far. Oh, okay. He's okay. He's changing into a chef's jacket. Now that makes way more sense. Neil hasn't got that in Richard. That's pretty obvious. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this guy. Let's see if we can get a good glimpse of him. Let's have a quick bite to eat. For yourself. Yeah. Okay. So this guy, he, he was brought in. I I guess he's supposed. To, you know, he's the head chef, right? But like I can tell this dude's a wet blanket. Like he's not he's not doing anything, you know. There's nothing going on here. He's not excited about his job. And then you got these three guys, you know, that, that he's I mean, look at him. He's not even like concerned about anything. And then you got these these three guys here, you know, two guys and a girl here. But, you know, th this team, like th these two obviously are just starting out. They don't know what's going on. You know, they may not even have gone to the chef school. And, and this guy, you know, even if he did, it's been a while. And he's just like, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't seem like he's doing anything, you know, better to, to correct, uh, you know, what this guy is lacking. So it's just like, this is just a mess. And, you know, I'm sure if we watched this whole episode, it would be a train wreck the whole time. And this guy is going to, this guy is going to be in denial, 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 denial. And the owner, or if he's the owner or the owner is going to think that, you know, well, the, whatever this guy says, like, well, you know, I, I know I asked Gordon Ramsay to come here, but, uh, you know, it's whatever, you know, how it is every time. So this one's not a long one, not a long clip, not a long reaction. But, I mean, yeah, clearly they spent money in this kitchen. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, what seems like good equipment in here. So, like, I don't know what they, you know, if you spend a lot of money on the equipment, you should spend a lot of money on having good food and good service and all that. That's just, that's just how I feel. So, all right. Be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that dislike button if you like Paula Dean better, which who's going to do that? So just hit that like button, hit subscribe, ring that bell, make sure you get notified every time the video goes live and get down in the comment section below and be sure to duke it out. Paula Dean versus Gordon. Gordon's going to win. Obviously. What do you think of this wet blanket of a crew, you know, of an, uh, of a, of a chef and, and all that. So just go crazy. Just go crazy. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.